I want to get to the most exciting part of the session where I'll be talking to Eric about the Connard Mobile Ion success story. Eric, welcome. Thank you for being part of the Q&A session. It is fair to assume that all of us have heard of Connard, obviously, and each of us, I, I, I assume, has a household item from Connard. And you have been with them for 27 plus years. Now, that's a very long time. Why don't you tell us about your role and what specific business and technical challenges you have around IT, mobility, and security? Thanks, Sam. That's right. I started with Connor a long time ago, and I've been taking a leading role in many IT initiatives over the years, including such things as infrastructure, Windows, Macintosh, data center management, security, telephony, and mobility. Our current infrastructure consists of approximately 150 different servers, approximately 3,000 desktops, both Mac and Windows 10. We use SAP, Office 365, the Adobe Suite, and plenty of custom applications. We have approximately 1,000 mobile devices split between iOS and Android, both BYO and corporate-owned devices. Some of the challenges that I faced around device management included security, mainly the ability to know who has our data, can we remove it when necessary, and the use of secure passwords to access the data, as well as, as, well as secure access to corporate resources. Thank you, Eric. Um, in terms of the mobile devices, are they um, distributed globally? Are they focused on the U.S.? Can you share a little more information about that? Sure. We're approximately 50% U.S. and 50% globally. And in that mix, the U.S. market is mostly BYO, where the overseas market is primarily corporate-owned. Got it. Thank you for articulating the overall IT challenges in Conair. Now, you have been using Mobileye and Core as your on-premise, which is the on-premise UEM solution for managing and securing your data and apps on iOS and Android, as you indicated to us, for several years. I presume you're happy with it. So why rock the boat and why look, why look for a cloud-based solution? So, yes, we have been very happy with Mobileye and Core. We've been using it for at least five years now. Uh, we found it to be an extremely stable product that has secured and managed our mobile and desktop devices. Service and support has been fantastic, but the entire industry is moving to the cloud, and we were looking to do the same thing for several reasons. We were looking for qualified IT staff. We, that is not Well, we have qualified IT staff. It's, they're expensive. Sometimes they're hard to find. The cost of them maintaining the hardware, patching, upgrades, uh, electricity, HVAC, internet services was getting out of hand. We are expanding globally, and the number of mobile devices used by our employees is increasing daily. So we needed something that could scale reliably and availably. Day zero support for any new iOS release was a must. And as we all know, upgrades take time and resources. So is, is iOS 14 something that you have already upgraded to, or you're looking to upgrade to iOS 14? Because that's very interesting because they just re released, uh, Apple just released support for it earlier this month. Is that something you're planning to move towards quickly or uh, have you already started the process? Just curious. So as I'm sure everybody on this call has had the experience where even if we ask our users not to upgrade to the latest iOS on day one, they do it anyway. So yes, we had <laughs> advised most of our users not to upgrade until we knew if we could support it. But on the day of release, by that evening, we had about a 15% adoption rate already to iOS 14, and there's zero calls to our help desk on issues with Mobile Iron and iOS 14. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's really nice to hear. So you, you really explained the reasons for migrating to the cloud perfectly, and really, I want to thank you for that, too, for articulating that really well. Now, specifically, what were you looking for in a cloud-based UEM solution? Well, we were looking for a lot of things. We were looking for, um, where do I begin? We were looking for support of our custom applications. We were looking for support of SAP, support of Office 365. We were looking for highly responsive service and highly qualified and responsive technical support. We were definitely looking for a seamless and low cost to, to migrate to the cloud. Integration with ADFS was an absolute must. And security focus, uh, security connectivity to access the resources um, using our two-factor solution, uh, although we are exploring other options down the road. Got it. So did your integration with uh, ADFS go well with MobileIM? Was that any issue? Oh, but, uh, <laughs> oh, Sam, we could talk about that for an entire other seminar. No, it did not go well at all. 
I was working with a fantastic professional services person from Mobile Iron, um, extremely dedicated to her profession and helping us, but we ran into problems day one with the ADFS integration. And uh, we must have spent countless hours on the phone trying to diagnose it. She brought in uh, upper level people from the organization. She had engineers on the call with us. And in the end, what we found out was that we were using a newer version of ADFS that had just been released days before, and Mobile Iron was not yet supporting that. However, Mobile Iron didn't say to us, well, you're out of luck. Instead, they said, give us some time. We'll come up with a solution. And sure enough, they did. Wow, that's fantastic to hear. Now, in terms of the custom apps, who is using custom apps? Custom apps? Is it your internal team or sales? Who is using custom apps within the organization? So we have both. We have custom applications that are on the business-to-business -business side. We're using those mostly in Europe for our uh, sales force that are in the field to take orders, and that links directly back up to our internal um, SAP solution. We have also issued um, plenty of other applications, both internal only for our users as well as uh, consumer-based applications, and all that testing is done within Mobile Iron to push it out to our own employees to make sure those applications are functioning properly. So that's real. you have a really comprehensive set of requirements. And did you evaluate other vendors, such as VMware, Microsoft, Intune, and so on? And I'm surprised because you indicated that you have Office 365 in your environment already. Um, and I know that giving, giving away Microsoft Intune uh, with AD and Office 365. So just curious, you didn't evaluate uh, um, other vendors, or did you? We did. We actually evaluated, my, well, we talked to Microsoft, or we attempted to talk to Microsoft. Uh, they approached us with Intune. Um, we did not do a proof of concept uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, one is they told us that Intune was required in order to manage Office 365, which we all knew was not true. They told us they could not manage our custom applications, which was a big no for us. Um, and then I wanted to speak to the technical support team to get some ideas on you know, what it would take to get certain pieces of this done and how they would respond to us. Um, I shouldn't have to wait days for a response from technical support, but yet we found ourselves waiting days, and in one case, more than a week to get a response. Yes, we did look at Microsoft 365 for a short period of time. We did not do a proof of concept. Mobileline, being a much smaller company, we found their service and technical support to be extremely responsive. Um, and tell us that's, that's the key is when we're in a pinch and we're having a problem, and we all have them eventually, um, how can we get help and how can we get help fast? So with that, we decided not to consider the Microsoft solution and decided to stay with Mobileline and move to the cloud. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you evaluate any other vendors, such as VMware or IBM? No, we did not. So it's really great to hear that you picked Mobileye Cloud over Microsoft uh, Endpoint Manager as your UEM vendor of choice. Now, how did the overall core to cloud migration go? Were you able to use our LUI or low user impact tool? And did you migrate all your devices over, including uh, iOS and Android, or where, you, where are you in terms of the migration? Have you completed it? You're happy with it? How did things go? So we started migrating earlier this year using your low user impact tool. Um, now, to be fair, the migration did start later than we liked. That was due to the ADFS issue that we spoke about earlier. Um, yes. But you know, once we did start using the tool, um, it went off seamlessly. We are now done with our migration to the cloud. We love the LUI tool. Um, it did not, what it did for us was the user was not impacted. There was no re-registration of devices required. Um, policies and configurations were migrated over um, from one to the other seamlessly. Uh, this was a huge savings for us in terms of money and time. Um, the professional services team, as I mentioned earlier, was very responsive. They helped in the migration of the back-end servers. They helped us uh, design user notices and what we can tell them to expect. Overall, we were very pleased. We did uh, complete it, as I said. We did only migrate our iOS devices at the time. Um, our Android device user base is much smaller. Um, and based on the fact that Android devices in our estimation and our 
Use case history is uh, not great. Uh, every device is slightly different. We decided our best approach for Androids was to de-enroll them from on-prem and re-enroll them in core. But besides that, we're fully migrated over to the cloud, and that's why I'm talking to you today. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Eric. And we at Mobileye are always proud about going the extra mile uh, to keep our customers like yourself happy with our product support and professional services and thank you again so can you talk i know some you know did you use some of our resellers and partners how was your relationship how did they help in the whole process could you talk a little bit about the partners involved and uh, in as much detail as you would like to sure sam unfortunately i can't give many specifics about our partner um uh, policies and how we work with them. Some of that is considered corporate confidential. However, I can say that we do use many different partners uh, for different products across different um, platforms. Um, in this particular case, I can say that we did work with CDW. Um, we have a fantastic partnership with them. We have a fantastic account exec that we've been with for um, well over 25 years. Um, and they were able to work with not only the Mobile Iron team, but their in-house team to really come to us with the best possible package offering in a multi-year agreement, which was one of the things we had asked them to do. Got it. Okay. So you are, you are pretty happy with, with the way things went, and you are able to do the migration on time within budget and things like that, yeah? You leveraging our resellers and our own PS services as well. That is correct, so, yes. So... Um, now, before we open it up for the audience for questions, I wanted to find out if there was any tangible benefits or metrics specifically that you would sh like to share on um, if this mobile iron cloud that you migrated to recently has, uh, has it resulted in any particular benefit for you. Yeah, oh, we have a bunch of benefits here. So one of the things, we've been able to reallocate some of our highly trained and highly priced IT staff for more critical tasks, which was great. Um, we've been able to manage and secure our custom apps that we talked about earlier, um, both the B2B and, and uh, consumer-based applications. We did reduce our overall IT costs for both hardware maintenance, upgrades, and the lesser known things that people look at are HVAC, electricity, internet, routing, um, all that all that behind the scenes costs that aren't really uh, prevalent up front. One of the things we avoided was vendor switching and migration costs by using the LUI as well as not having to switch to a different pro uh, platform. And one of the more important things that all this did for us was we limited the interruption to our associates. Um, that's something that we value here very highly is keeping our associates uh, able to be as productive as they can with less interruptions from IT. And by doing the LUI uh, migration, that was a, a success all around. Um, last but not least, we were able to improve our overall security posture of our mobile devices. Uh, we're leveraging two-factor authentication. Uh, we, will look at, we are looking into using biometrics and other passwordless sign-on options in the near future. Got it. Are you using MPD at all or mobile iron thread defense at all for your Android and iOS devices? I'm just curious to know, is that something that you are also looking into? Or do you have a solution already? Um, it is something we're looking into. We don't currently have a solution for that. Got it. Eric, thank you so much for taking the time to do this Q&A session with me. And I appreciate you sharing the Connor success story with us and with the broader audience. 